So here's the genie. That clearly means that it's no longer on the door, and I have something else up. And what I do have up might surprise you a little bit. We're gonna head on over to the door here. As you can see, we have the square rail again. Now, it is not the D2101 that is still in its box. It is not the 7220. It is not the silver medal. It's not the Sears Best. It's not the Rainer. It's not the 8557. And it's not the Linear. Not the Pro Max. Not the GX9000 either. If you take a look over in the corner there, you'll notice that there's an opener missing. That's right. I got the Sears 139.651500 installed. Uh, there is going to be a video of this without the case. Um, you're act I actually already took that when I was setting the limits on it, but you are going to see this first. But yes, Sears 139.651500 on a current day square rail. Isn't that pretty funny? Uh, quarter horsepower, 4.5 amp motor. Um, so, as with every opener I've put up, this one had its uh, challenges. Um, so basically, First things, actually, first things first, I actually managed to unbend the chassis here, and it actually fixed the force problem. You can see it is plugged in back there, and this is just fine. I mean, this does not wiggle. Unbend that wire. This does not wiggle by hand. Um, so, basically, this was pushed over, taking the tension off of the spring. Um, and it, this was all bent up from being thrown in the dumpster. Um, so anyway, the bolts lined up perfectly on the square rail. The chain that I had was too short. That's sitting over back there. That's over along with the rail for the genie there. This chain is actually came off of the Rainer. Um, off. This chain came off the Rainer, and I just shortened it, made it work on here. Um, and... Basically, setting the limits on this, what I did, I'm going to say it is annoying to set the limits on these. Basically, what I did is I opened it and then unplugged it when the door got all the way up and then just set the cams. Um, it did take a few tries, but I got the limits set pretty close. So they're, it's not exact, but it'll do. So the, unfortunately, the only thing on this that doesn't work would be the light. Also, it turns out the capacitor, and this is blown out, but this still works perfectly fine. By the way, there is on the bottom of this two stickers that talk about the thing not having sensors. Uh, I would like to take those off sometime. So, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm sure you guys are all curious as to how this runs. Um, I don't have any remotes for this. Um, sometime, though I will be hooking up my plug-in receiver to this so I can get remotes. But I don't have remotes for this right now, so the only way of running it is through this button right here. So let's go ahead and see how this works. And like I said, this is honestly the perfect speed for this little door. Here we go. That is honestly just the perfect. It doesn't get much better than that. Run it back down. quiet and it's smooth and it just plain works yeah that's just awesome you know we'll run that one more time yep so yeah that is the sears um you know we'll do it from outside here and then that's gonna be it perfect speed so yeah that's about it that is the Sears 651500 and I will make a video when I get radios installed on this all right see you later